Get ready. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm gonna do a little pain today. Anybody recognize this? Um, this is the True Religion logo. And uh, let's see. Right up there it is. That's my copy of it I made to look at and I've drawn it on here too you can see actually um, I cheated I used a projector that I've got it's called a uh, uh, sir light or something like that I'll show it to you guys later but uh, we got turpentine there and then I've got a can of mineral spirits and it's so hot today. It's like 98 degrees in here. So we mix a little bit of the turpentine to make the enamel that I got. Uh, you can see there's a can, old can of one shot right there. And uh, we'll mix a little bit right there. <clears throat> and uh, that way it'll flow better. I could use some penetral, uh, but I don't need to. Um, if I was still learning how to do this, I would. Um, but uh, I right, will be back in a second. I'm gonna get set up and hey, we're back, and we can see some progress. <clears throat> All right, here's what I did. This old one-shot stuff. Um, it always forms a layer. You know, it gets a real thick layer. You can see, you know, like way long time ago when it's first opened. Then I used some, then I had another layer. And uh, so that piece right there, you can see, I just basically pulled it out of there and set it in there. And then I pour a little bit of uh, my mixed up mineral spirits with the uh, turpentine right there. First of all, I clean your brush and your, your mineral spirits before you even start. And uh, and I just pour a little bit in there and I just mix it all around with it you know, and you can basically see down here it's 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 wet more it's uh, thinner so I can if I need some thick stuff I come up here and I work on that you know and then I put it in here you know basically that's it and I, I can work with a big uh, glob of paint on there like that um, it's just starting off you don't want to do that you know, but like when I'm filling in like this area here, you know, I just globbed it in there, you know, just basically, you know. But you can see you don't have much to go with right there, so that's his little hand. And here's his eyes. And, uh, you know, you can't really see what's what there too well, so you kind of have to know a little bit about what you're doing. And uh, fill it in. Now on a guitar, I know I know what a guitar looks like, but I'm real crooked here. As as my lines, you can see the bottom of it right there. So along with the with the string, the bottom string. So in the old days when I was begin a uh, beginner doing this, I would absolutely straighten this out before I even attempted this. But um, I'm just gonna wing it. That's you know, it doesn't take <clears throat> you know a whole lot. I'm not real sure if I'm gonna actually. Yeah, I'll probably will. I'll probably stripe them strings uh, with a uh, fine line. And I ain't using nothing but uh, just your average uh, arts and crafts uh, brushes. Now this is an acrylic brush, not a watercolor. Acrylic is stiffer. Um, and it'll, it'll have more bounce back. And when you're working with a heavier uh, paint, you want that bounce back. When you work on watercolor, it's a thinner paint, so you can have a more flexible brush on the bristles, so it'll, you know, it doesn't uh, paint heavier with the enamel, so you need the stiffer brush, bristles to, uh, to help hold it and form your lines and stuff like that, so. Um, but uh, basically, 
just come in there and oops can't see it can you <laughs> it's one thing about this camera it's not all that great is they put the, uh, the the lens the that you go to look out of they mounted it on the corner of the camera so it's it's kind of hard to see or know where it is sometimes so we just look up here it's a little spot I'm doing there so I'm look down here and uh, sometimes when I'm doing this I basically can almost look at the uh, at the drawing and uh, keep uh, keep painting one thing with wrinkles you want you want them to be nice and formed you don't want it to come down and you know suck in right here and then pop out because then it's not going to look like a, a real wrinkle so I put it back in the, the paint depending on where I'm going to put the brush like when I'm going to put it around the eyes I kind of want the paint to be a little thicker because I don't want it to run and uh, so you can kind of gauge it like that you know see it's a real weird thing right here whatever this is it's some kind of reflection I mean he's he's fat cheeked as all get out you know I mean, what is that there can't really tell so sometimes when I'm doing this you want to kind of go in the middle of what it is and back off it look at it and see whether or not you want to make it wider in certain areas so you always start a little thinner like that kind of come in here and put it and then you step back and look at it and then you can see whether it's uh, needing to go you know in or out or fatter or thin or whatever working with faces is very tricky because a lot of times less is more um, see he's got a big a big grin so let's Let's see if we can't get a little bit of that going here. It's kind of tricky holding the camera and painting at the same time. See one, two, and then there's a mess. And so you got his bottom lip right here. Yeah, he's. Yeah, I see him smiling. <laughs> He's just a happy little Buddha. Whatever. I'm doing this for a store at the mall. A lot of times these these they need to be round right here. So it actually looks like a wrinkle in the skin. Man, it's hot out today. So you know the corner of his mouth ain't going to be pointy right here in this corner. You know it's going to be round. You have to have a shadow in that corner. So you come in there and kind of go like that. And the upper lip, it's got to have some roundness right there to it. So back up. Oh yeah, he's happy. Oh yeah. Porky the pig, huh? <laughs> and it's a weird thing because his nose, the top of the bottom of his nose is right here. So look at the distance from his nose to his eyes. It's not very far at all. It's really weird. It's like right here. So you got like a little Oh yeah, I see it happening now. So I might not connect this. I might cheat, because I know what the anatomy looks like. And whoever painted this or drew it, it looks like the registration on it got really, really sucky. And that's what it ended up being. Yeah, he's missing his ear right here a little bit. 
kind of compared to that. So I'm going to have to wing that when I was cutting the foam out. I didn't do a good job right here. So it kind of busted a little bit. So I'm going to You never notice on uh, on heavy set people, their temples always suck in right there on the corner because their cheeks are big. These are things you learn when you study anatomy. You know, in class, they always, at least with me, they always put a guy in that was all muscle bound. It'll teach you how to draw, you know, uh, heavy set people. They only teach you how to draw uh, perfect forms. It's kind of interesting, and it? It's like, eh, hey, we don't want to draw people that are, uh, you know, dare I use the word fat? No. This is art, you know. But you know what? The hardest thing there is to draw. As far as human anatomies go, I'm going to tell you right now, it's a baby. You draw a baby, man. They are hard to do. Because there's not a lot of shape to them. You have to know exactly what curves. And this is kind of what this is. It's a baby. You know? That's why it's so appealing to people, too. Little did we know. You know? I mean, what's the number one selling thing on uh, to do a commercial with? A baby. Babies and dogs. You know, so here, true religion, you know, used a little baby, little Buddha guy. And, uh. Hey, man. Hey, hey. I, I, I can't see. Hey, move that guitar. Well, there it is. It's come out pretty good. You can see the bottom down there. And his little head, the guitar. I still got to do the strings on the uh, on the neck of the guitar. So what I decided to do is bring out my guitar, one of mine, and make sure I get the uh, little uh, octave note areas. Right with the little dots, you know, right here. 